Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back again to FTL Faster Than Light. It's another day, it's another run of FTL as we try to finish up these last three ship achievements. Let's do the Osprey again. I like the A-type for this achievement. Use your crew in four special blue event choices by Sector 5 because we have four different races of crew members. And Human, Mantis, Rockman, NG, in particular the Rockman and NG, are used in quite a few. I think this gives us the best chance of victory, so let's give it a shot. Now in the last run, we played as the... Which ship was it? It was the... Rock ship, the Rock Sea type, and we failed to get the achievement on that run. So we're going to do the Osprey this time, and then probably the Crystal Cruiser next time, and then from there, go to the general achievements. And then we'll, I'll kind of switch back on and off of these achievements and try to finish them off because I would like to finish them up at some point. Uh, this ship sucks. The single heavy laser cannot penetrate my shields. The defense drone will be able to shoot down probably one, maybe two of my burst laser shots coming in. Looks like it can only shoot down one. That's good for me because it means that I can maybe get some damage done to the piloting and weapon systems. Yeah, pil piloting and engine systems. Piloting is back online. We missed our shot. Basically, if I can keep them off, if I can keep this ship disabled long enough for the artillery beam to fire, we're good, because the artillery beam will cut through the shields, do a lot of damage to the ship. I just have to actually land in an occasional shot with the burst laser, and so far it's not looking good. I fully expect this ship to get away. If they do get away, I'm just going to jump away first. If I can jump away, because if we jump away, if we jump away first, we don't get a penalty. Because uh, this was a forward scout of the Rebel Fleet, they will inform the Rebel Fleet of our presence, but if we jump away first, the event won't trigger, and we won't be penalized for it. It sucks that the first combat event of this run was basically a failure, but that Defense Drone Mark II did enough. It did way... It did its job, basically. It protected the ship. They were able to not take hardly any damage, and I was not able to do any damage to their piloting system to keep them, keep them here. Take that drone offline. I don't mind them having the laser offline. I don't really mind them having the drone online, honestly, but I would prefer that they only have the laser, because the drone can still sneak in shots occasionally. It can, you know, shoot once on the shield, move a tiny bit, and then shoot again in a, a, in a really quick order. And the main laser that they have just doesn't do that. It fires once every 10 seconds. We can easily dodge that. So, you know, we are missing a little bit of potential training from having the drone, but we're also saving ourselves a lot of HP doing it like this. Artillery beam is about to fire. This will... Oh, ooh, two good misses right there. The artillery beam will shut down enough of their ship systems that I think we won't take any more damage, even though we've only taken one point of damage so far. Not going to accept the offer. Three fuel is pretty decent, but nine scrap is pretty terrible, on all things considered. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. That's closer than I would have liked, but we managed to make it work. Twelve scrap is not enough. I want probably twenty scrap, and then I'm... Ooh, I will sell missiles, absolutely. We don't have a missile launcher. With twenty scrap, I can sell... Or I can uh, buy the piloting upgrade and then go into the nebula. If I have 35 scrap, I can get the medbay up to level 2, which is nice in case I can pick up an additional crew member or something. I will investigate, sure. Invite him to join my crew? Yes, because it's potentially another crew member. We get Charlie, who's a good pilot, who's going to replace Notch as our pilot. Notch is going to be on engines, and the Mantis is going to be on doors. I might want to have the Mantis be on the piloting, but the Mantis is good combat, anti-combat, anti-invader personnel, so having the Mantis able to move around the ship and kill people is pretty good for me. We've improved our evasion by 2%. I don't mind getting rid of the Mantis' training. You know, they had some pretty decent training on engines already, and it's only been a couple of fights, but I think I would prefer to just have the... have the uh, humans on the systems. All right, we have to investigate this quest beacon over here. We can make it over there. It's not that far away. And I can jump into the nebula, jump around a little bit, try to uh, visit as many beacons as possible. I bought the piloting upgrade so that if we've come across a blue event option, we can take it. We get scoops, another rock man, excellent. 
And in fact, Rockman... No, no, no. I want Rockman on doors, Mantis on sensors. Because Rockman and Mantis would make good borders if I can swing that in the future. I want the humans to be on systems. And also, the Mantis can run around a little bit faster, so having the Mantis on sensors is fine. We've already picked up a couple of additional crew members. Unfortunately, they, they are the same race as we've already had, but it's still fine in my book. Now, this ship has a mini beam and a heavy laser. If they fire their weapons at the same time, then we won't take any damage here. Oh, we, they managed to sneak in a shot. Interesting. I guess I should say it, we're unlikely to take damage, but we obviously did. Uh, reason for that is that if you have the shield system man, usually, usually you can not take damage here by having the shields come back online before the beam fires. Not sure why that didn't happen here. Maybe it was maybe it was just lucky. You know, this is a. Uh... I was gonna say it's a big ship, but that would actually be in our favor. I don't know. Maybe they just got an unlucky shot. Maybe our. Maybe the cloak kind of messed up with their weapon charge times for a split second. Or maybe it just never works perfectly all the time anyways. Either way, we only got hit for one point of damage. I don't really care about one point of damage all that much. Didn't hit any important systems or anything. There is a store in the future. I didn't notice that until just now. Would like to go to the store, but it's not that important right now. Where are they? They're in the empty room trying to get into the weapons room, and it is a mantis. So let's just say hi, bring in the rock man to help with the combat. It's going to take him a while to walk over there, but he should make it. Even if it takes him a minute. As long as they don't hit us with a missile. They hit us in the med bay, there's a fire. That's not that hard to, uh, to deal with. We can just open the doors, vent the ship. I do need the med bay back, though, because my crew is very wounded. That was an Artemis, so if the Mantis gets hit with a missile, the Mantis will die, but fortunately... Oh, I need to open these doors. Fortunately for us, uh, their weapons are offline. I did hit him in the weapons room and take the missile launcher offline. So let's sneak in a shot on their shield room. Maybe get them to repair that, and then I can do some more damage to their uh, weapons room while we wait. Okay, the fire's been put out. Open all doors. And get oxygen in the med bay, get them in there, there to repair that, and they should be fine. Good. They're dead. We pick up another 14 scrap. Let's get that med bay upgrade. Do it before they do the repairing. That way they can actually get a little bit of bonus repairing just from hammering on the room. I do like getting that med bay upgrade. It's, it might not be the most important thing. Maybe saving it for shields would have been better, but... We're not taking that much damage right now. We can we can be very offensively minded later. For now, I, I kind of just want that upgrade. I'm going to go up and around behind the exit to go to the quest, I think. I don't want to go to the store. I want to spend my first scrap on shields, reactor power. And if I go down, I do have to go through the store. But go right, though. I can go to a couple more beacons and then hit up the exit. Demand the surrender of their goods. We might not be able to prevent them from escaping. They do have a missile launcher. I am still going to attack their piloting and engine systems first, I think, though. They're probably going to do a lot of damage to me with those missiles, unfortunately. It is Alito, so it only does one. Hit us in the weapons room. We only, we only got two laser shots off. That actually really sucks. We did hit him just hard enough, though, to take their piloting system offline. Get that burst laser going again. Rockman, just go over there. Go over there. Shields are down. That has to get repaired. Because this beam is going to do a lot of damage to us. Yep, there's there the damage is starting. Come on. Oh, the, and the Artemis is offline. So we're not going to be able to destroy the ship, I don't think. This sucks balls, man. You guys repair the O2. Get that piloting system repaired, please. Attack them in their weapons. At this point, I just want to not take any more damage, so... Hit them in the weapons, then we'll hit them in piloting. Maybe we can kill them before they escape. But dang, this encounter so far... Get the Artemis repaired before the uh, oxygen. Mantis can finish the repairing on the O2 system. I need that Artemis to get online so that I can... Uh, not Artemis, excuse me. Artillery! I need that artillery to get online so that I can do more damage to these guys. 
They have the missile launcher back online. Their piloting system is getting repaired. Maybe I can sneak in some shots and kill them. At this point, I think I'm just gonna kill them. Oh, except they broke the burst laser again. Screw this encounter. Screw this first sector, man. We are not getting very lucky here at all. Just jump away. We can't, we can't stop them from escaping at this point. With jump imminent, there's no way we were going to do that. Let's attack this ship. Maybe we can, maybe we can kill these guys. Get another crew member out of it for free. I would very much like that. <clears throat> Ion stunner and the laser are not that big of a problem because they are going to be firing out of sync. So I can, de I can definitely uh, depower my shields and, pow and power them up again to stop the ion from actually taking out my shields. Unfortunately, it did land in the weapons room, but it only took out the weapons for a split second. We can get them back online before their ion stunner does, keep hitting them in their weapon system. Well, we can keep attempting to hit them in the weapon system, I suppose. Ion stunner coming in. Uh, phew, shit. Uh, the ion stunner is going to hit the shields. I, If I was going to do the hold shield powered thing, thing I would have had to done it already. So we're going to get hit by this laser. There's nothing I can do about it, so I might as well attempt... We dodged the laser. That was the only way that we would get out of this situation. I will accept another crew member. No, it's a human. I'd rather just get the scrap at this point. What do I care about having seven crew members, three humans? If I'm gonna do this achievement, I'm gonna need different races or just good luck on beacons. And so far we've actually had zero encounters where we have been able to use our crew in blue event options. So it's already not looking good for getting this achievement, but all we need is one or two good sectors and we'll we'll be fine, we'll be on track. We only need one per sector, so on average. And this distress beacon, hey, this could be the station on fire. We use the rock band, we get a, uh, a drone schematic or something out of it for free. Or uh, it's a blue event option, but unfortunately it's the pirate blue event option. We can cut them out and they'll give us some scrap as a reward. It was close, it was close. I saw that blue option and I'm like, oh yes, it's the distress beacon on fire. Oh wait, why does it say beam? That's not, beam weapon is not a crew member. I'd make it a crew member if I could. Get the virus and we can have the AI from the beam weapon targeting system be our crew member. I will promise to deliver the cargo and ask if anyone is interested in joining the crew or take the cargo and drop them off at a nearby station. I mean, this doesn't say take for yourself. This just says, I, I imagine these are the same option, except this one has a probability of giving us a crew member. So we can get another crew member. We get fish, sure. Why <laughs> Why not at this point? I'm just gonna keep Rockman on the doors. Human, uh, go on sensors. Mantis, go in medbay. We've got a lot of crew, but unfortunately they're not that racially diverse. We have three humans and two rockmen, and we started with those already. Abandoned sector or uncharted nebula? The abandoned sector, I could buy a Lanius, but the Lanius are only good for abandoned sectors. The uncharted nebula doesn't have that many options in it. I have a, I have a spreadsheet here. Let me, let me consult the spreadsheet. Abandoned sector. Not functioning defense system. Fire on the small research station. It's all just filler events. Hmm. How about the Uncharted Nebula? There's a lot for NGs, actually. Nebula ships. Nebula scene ships exchange fire. Malfunctioning defense system. Unknown disease on the mining colony. At distress beacons plus a rockman. Yeah, let's let's go to the Nebula. There's a lot of uh, slug options, but maybe we can pick up a slug. And there is another nebula in the future, but this is sector six, so it won't count. But I do like that there are green options here. The civilian sectors tend to have a lot of uh, a lot of options, more than the red sectors anyway. So yeah, we're gonna go to the nebula. I'm just gonna play my chances on those, on those uh, three green sectors coming up in the future. Quest beacons up here, we can go to that pretty easily. Okay. Uh, 40 scrap with only one bar of shields. I think that getting the next bar of shields is the most important thing we can do at this point. Yeah, because ships like this are going to eat us up. The heavy laser and the burst laser can do a lot of damage to us. 
Maybe if we're lucky, we can get our shots off before they do. Take their weapon offline. No, they got in. They got in three shots and managed to actually land a shot in the weapons room, which is which is very unfortunate. But we did take one of their weapons offline. Most the most important weapon offline. That stupid uh, burst laser mark two. Yoin needs to get healed up in the med bay, but I want him on that room to get us that uh, charge rate increase on the weapons. Good, a couple more hits. As long as they only have the heavy laser online, I don't care about their weapons. Good, we did start a fire. These are rockmen, so you know it's very unlikely that we'll be we'll be able to actually destroy the ship or the crew, I should say, before the ship. It's very likely we'll destroy the ship, especially with the artillery beam going out. Yeah, finish the job. We're not gonna be uh, we're not gonna going to be killing the crew here anytime soon, with such low hull integrity in the uh, weapons that we have. If we had a fire beam, heck yeah, start a fire in the O2 room, start fires aboard their ship, and they can't do anything about it. They're just gonna die. No, I want shields first. I can always divert power into the shield system, so I'm not too worried about having uh, shields right now. Okay, just a simple rebel ship. With two lasers, this is a perfect opportunity to get that shield upgraded because those lasers cannot penetrate two bars of shields. Burst laser, first things first, attack the piloting system. If we can do damage to the piloting system, slow down their FTL recharge rate. If we destroy their piloting system, they won't be able to escape. It doesn't matter if they cloak for 10 or 15 seconds. So let's get that piloting system destroyed. We did. Next shot's gonna go in on Cloak. They will Cloak before I fire again. That's just because their Cloak recharges in 20 seconds. My weapons take, well, 12 times two or 24 seconds to get off two volleys, so it's not gonna actually land. Trying to just micro my power a little bit. With the Cloak being offline, the next shot will kill them. The, ar the artillery, by the way, I'm not really going to focus it that much Unless we get to a point where we don't have any other weapons. If we have other guns, I'll probably focus them first. The artillery is going to be either something I'm going to upgrade really late in the game, or I'm going to upgrade it really, really shortly just because I have nothing else to do damage. We get 15 scrap plus an anti-personnel drone. It's kind of unfortunate, actually. Going to these two jumps outside of the nebula is going to cost us time, and we're not going to get that much out of it because this drone does not sell for very much. In fact, it sells for 49, which is one scrap too few to get the scrap recovery arm, which would be the thing that I want to pick up here. I could sell a gun for it, but that's obviously not what I'm going to do. I could buy a gun, but there's nothing really to buy with 49 scrap. I'm just going to have to buy fuel and leave. So there's fuel, one repair one reactor upgrade just so that we can get those shields powered up permanently and that's it that is a uh, a pretty bad jump all things considered a pretty bad store i mean if i had one more scrap it would have been so much better pirate ship will attack the pirate probably can't kill them especially with a missile launcher i kind of just want to destroy their weapon system and keep firing on their weapons as hard as i can just to keep them uh, from doing too much damage to me. We only have a 22% chance to dodge, it's not that high. They have a Zoltan on board. Good to know because it means that we might be able to actually destroy or kill the Zoltan if we keep firing on the weapon system. At the very least, there's a crew member in there. We can, I don't know, maybe start a fire? But that Zoltan's gonna get stuff repaired. They're trying to escape. I wonder where their crew is aboard the ship. If their enemy FTL is being delayed, where is their crew? Do they have two crew in the weapons room trying to get repairs done? Wow, we actually did destroy all the crew. How did that, that happen? I mean, that's what I was thinking. Keep firing on the weapon system. Maybe we can kill that Zoltan. I was just not expecting him to actually die. Was he the only crew member they had? Were there two Zoltans and I managed to kill them both at the same time? I don't know. Either way, we did pick up 18 scrap in a system repair drone, which only sells for 15, but that's a 30 scrap encounter. That's not too bad. All right, well, unfortunately, this is going to be a uh, an annoying, unnecessary encounter. We're just gonna have to wait. Kill these humans as they walk around the ship. Let's get the 
Rockman and the Mantis ready to fight them in the shield room. I don't even care about being on the door system at all. That's not that's not relevant at all. All right, make sure everyone's at full health. And go back to your rooms, please. 33 scrap, 4 fuel. I should probably get one more reactor power just so that I can get that extra 5% dodge chance. It's pretty important to get. I have enough scrap that I can buy fuel at a store if there is one. But we're not really getting the very good jumps, are we? So. Two beacons with nothing. Only down to one few left. I don't want to go to a store because I would rather go to beacons that have combat or the potentiality of using a crew member in a blue event option. That's the whole point of this run after all. Get that ship achievement. I think we shot down their missile in midair, which is was good because we did take their weapons offline. Basically bought us time to get in another shot on their weapon system to take out their weapons even further. So yeah, that was pretty good, pretty lucky, I suppose. Normally you don't want to shoot down the enemy missiles or lasers when they come in because you just want to do a lot of damage to them very quickly. But hey, it was a good shot. It was a lucky shot. Let's hit him in piloting. Nah, let's hit him in shields. Yeah, they're they're busy with repair, so they they do not have a pilot right now. Artillery beam, here it goes. And we get one drone part and 14 scrap. Big problem with these pirate encounters is that if you don't kill the crew, you don't really get that much out of them. That's not that bad. More borders. Oh, good. Well, I suppose we'll just dump everyone on that sh side of the ship into the med bay. Open up all interior doors. Actually, I should I should put everyone in the med bay who I want fighting. So like you guys go in there and you go in here. Cause Notch, you're on engines. Cause with them being in the med bay, I can actually make this encounter go a little bit faster because I don't have to actually heal my units afterwards. They'll be healed up in the med bay. So there we go. Everyone go back to your rooms, we'll jump, no fuel, distress beacon on, please. Okay, a rebel ship. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. They only have one missile launcher. I am going to attack their weapons first because one shot will take their missile launcher offline and then I can focus on piloting and then shields. Luckily, we did dodge the first missile, which is pretty good. So weapons offline, let's focus on piloting so they have no dodge chance and they don't charge their FDL, good. Now we go on shields and in one or two volleys, the ship will be dead. And with 0% dodge chance, this next volley will destroy them. Assuming all shots land, they should. Man, I really, I really want to get this achievement done. I don't know though. It's not looking good. We got no fuel out of that. Oh, that's, that's actually quite bad. We're gonna wait. Hey, more rebels, that's not too bad. They only have one laser and one beam. They cannot hurt us at all. So I'm gonna focus fire on their shield room, then piloting, then engines, and we'll see what happens. If I can keep their shields offline though, I can sneak in more shots, do more damage. But if I hit them in piloting, I can delay them long enough to get the artillery beam charged up. It's kind of a little bit of a, uh, what do I do here, you know? Probably a fire in the room. They did take their pilot away. So let's hit him, let's hit him in engines. Maybe I can do more damage. Engines are in the red, good. Why engines instead of piloting? I don't know. I always go on piloting. Why not go on engines? Maybe it'll take them longer to repair. As soon as they repair one bar, they don't get 100% FTL recharge rate. They get a, a lower amount because they have less power in the system. We will have to fight the rebels. That's kind of annoying. It is in a nebula though, so it's not that bad. I kind of honestly want to just jump ahead. 
Like, go to as many beacons as possible because we're gonna have to fight the rebels anyways. Why don't we just fight the rebels later on? Maybe I can get some more scrap out of this. Maybe a free gun. I don't know. Give me something, game. We might have to fight two rebel ships, but maybe this is worth it. Uh, prepare to chase them, absolutely, and fleet pursuit is doubled for one jump. All right, so this might be the end of the game for us. What do we spend our scrap on? Let's get the engines upgraded one more just so that we have a slightly higher dodge chance. Oh, right, we have no, uh, no fuel, so we're going to have to fight the rebels three times. Oh, I also forgot. <laughs> I forgot there is no in nebula event for running out of fuel so all of a sudden we're not in the nebula anymore and we have to fight with an asb okay um i don't really appreciate that especially when we have basically no way of actually doing damage to this enemy ship and we have to fight the rebels three times but if we can jump if we get fuel and we can jump ahead we will be able to actually fight the rebels in the nebula so it's not as bad Try to kill as many enemy crew members as I can, I suppose. If I get lucky, maybe I can sneak in some shots. Oh, not if the weapons go offline. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. We're basically going to have to rely on the artillery beam, I think, to destroy the ship or get destroyed ourselves. You guys go into the med bay. Burst laser is back online, so let's get the... Uh, First laser powered up and going again. ASB did land. It landed in an empty room though, which is nice. We can get that repaired. Maybe. They might take some damage, but they're not boarding us anymore, so it's not that bad. And of course, they land in another bomb in the weapons room, because that's the only thing I have that can actually kill these guys. As long as they don't hit artillery, actually. Artillery would be worse now that I think about it. There we go. Artillery did land. Oh, we lost the NG because they got hit by an ASB shot. And there's actually a breach in the room now. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Well, this is going to be a short run of FTL today. A good old 27 minute long run where my crew dies horribly and I don't actually manage to get the uh, achievements that I want. That's all right. Maybe I should send these guys to the med bay. If the ASB lands, they're dead. And eh, it's not gonna hit them. It's gonna hit the shields instead. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, the thank you game for not killing my crew. No, get the, sh okay, get the shields powered up. You guys get, get the shields powered up. We gotta get that hull breach repaired. Fire in the door room, can't deal with it. Rockmen can deal with it in the future, but we need to get those shields online first. Get those shields repaired, guys. Okay, med bay's offline. Don't care. You guys repair the weapons. Rockman, put out the fire. We cannot let that fire spread. Dodge chance is back. Weapons are back. Artillery beam. There goes the dodge chance. You can't get that system repaired. Send in the other guy in there. Good thing that didn't hit artillery. That would have been disastrous. Okay, weapons are fixed. Everyone go back into the shield room. You guys go into the med bay, get that fixed up. You know, yes, just get it fixed up. Piloting's gonna be back in a second. Can we survive the, if an ASB shot lands, we're dead. So this is either going to be it for us or we'll have to survive more ASB shots. It's probably gonna be it for us. There we go. All right. And they, they almost, oh, there they go. To add insult to injury, they also left after they destroyed us. Well, that was gonna happen anyways because we did run out of fuel a couple of jumps previously, so. Actually, no, we, we got one fuel out of it. Ah, maybe I could have made it out of the sector, but the first two sectors with no actual event to use my crew. It doesn't look good for actually getting the, the ship achievement done. Maybe I'll try this run one more time. Maybe I'll jump straight into the Crystal Cruiser. I don't know. Man, I don't know. These these achievements, they're so RNG based. Like, there's nothing you can do to get the achievement if 
you wouldn't get the achievement on your run. Like it, there's, it's not a play style thing. It's not a are you good enough thing. It's is this the run? Who knows? Stay tuned. You have to actually play through it to Sector 6 to find out. But anyways, I will keep trying to get these achievements. I do want to 100% this game. So, that being said, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it and you want me to continue playing FTL and getting these last achievements. Uh, and, and subscribe for some more FTL content. And I will see you here again for the next run.